All right, so now we get started to hopefully something a little bit more traditional instead of pointing and shooting your finger and killing someone. And now they're going to corner up New York, Team Europe, but now Europe is going to get out of the corner there. Oh, and Razgazer and Retro are out now. And now Retro is trying to kill a... Whoa! Uh, <laughs> and Retro freaking did it. Let Retro... Oh, my God. <laughs> Retro just destroyed three North American boxers on his freaking own clay face. You know what's funny now, since That's the first round Europe has ever won in the collision of, of continents, ever. First matchup of the Super Semis. Bagel and Big Boy Lethal. One of them trying to punch their name into the final. Big Boy Lethal gets the punches in. 1-0 advantage already for Big Boy. Stays a 1-0 lead for Big Boy Lethal after Bagel trying to tie it up. Big Boy just trying to take a more dominant lead. Gets the first punch in. Second, third. Big Boy takes the fall, and it's a 1-1 one -to -one tie. Tied up at 1-1. One -one. It's a 3 out of 5 at this point. And Big Boy Lethal with the quick bang-bang play takes the lead 2-1. 2-1, to -one. Two -to -one, Big Boy Lethal has the advantage. Trying to go up 3-0, or excuse me, 3-1. Big Boy trying to get the punches in, and Bagel with the aggression ties it up. It's now a best two out of three. Two apiece, and it's two out of three to get on to the final. Big Boy Lethal has the advantage. Miff whiffs a punch there, and it's dead even. Big Boy Lethal This is a punch, and Egyptian Bagel takes the advantage. After being down 2-1, he's now leading 3-2. Lead for Bagel on 3-2. Big Boy Lethal trying to force round seven. Bagel just staring down his opponent. The stare down is real as Big Boy Lethal slightly. Not sure if Bagel is intentionally staring like that or he's trying to type out a long message and does a quick motion there. May have scared Big Boy on that. Gets the punch in. Big Boy Lethal gets it in. It's going to the seventh round. Three punches seals your fate in the backyard brawl. Are you heading to the final or are you at third or fourth place? We'll find out in a moment. First punch dealt evenly by both. Bagel trying to keep the aggression on. Big Boy Lethal gets the punch in and he's qualified for the playoffs. Big Boy Lethal is headed to the final. Oh man, that last punch from uh, Bagel just slightly missed and Big Boy Lethal was able to capitalize on I think he's dead. Oh, there he is. He's there he is. So immediately out of the gate, chicken coming in through. Both of them meeting in the middle, trading blows. Comfy Land hitting a good punch or two. Chicken firing back, but Comfy Land manages to get the swing advantage, the swing speed advantage, and he brings it to one and over oh Comfy Len. Wow. Very efficient. So, round number two. Both of them still being very reserved. Shikin trying to dance around the ring. Does get the first punch landed in. Very consistent punches going either way. And Shikin ties it up at one to one. Very, very good hits. Very, very calculated. Very, very consistent. Very, very quick. Round number three. Both of them being a little bit reserved on the approach. Shikin managing to land these punches fairly consistently. And now. They are both backing away. Who is going to go first? Oh, this is very close. Very tense. Chicken went towards the back of the ring ropes, and he charges forward. Len was not particularly ready for that. Chicken ready and poised. That is, that is perfect. Perfect waiting for the opportune moment. Chicken needs one more. Len needs two. Both of them a little bit... A little bit reserved coming out of the ring post. Len strikes first, hitting these punches, punches very, very consistently. Shikin misses his last one, and Comfy Len didn't actually swing entirely right out of the gate there. He waited for that bait. He waited for that so well, actually. He, Comfy Len seems to be reading Shikin's play stuff very, very well. The final round. Who will face Spotten in the semi final? Is it going to be Len or is it going to be Shikin? Is it going to be Len or going to be Shikin? Shikin pounces immediately out the gate. Lands the first punch. Can he hit this last punch? <gasps> That. He missed the last punch. He oh did have a space, goodness. but he threw it away. Oh, <laughs> he can dispute if he wants, but honestly, that was just 
Wow. <laughs> he doesn't want to dispute. So that's the GG's. Chicken goes out. Oh, no. Shock upset from Comfy Led in the grudge match. It's one to one apiece for these two men in terms of tournament matches. Good lord. Good lord. <laughs> what do you think of that? I'll get Clay. I know you're very eager. I know you're very eager, but I will get to Dandelions' analysis first. What was that? <laughs> that was. A nail biter match and one that I'm very excited I was able to count. Round number one. Good lord, we are here. Space immediately aggressive out of the corner. Comfyland trying to stay in his corner. Being very reserved. Both of them trading blows pretty hard. But Space Avenger might miss one of those punches. I swear that could have hit, but he didn't. And pending any dispute, Comfyland goes 1 and 0 oh up currently. Round number two. Space immediately charging out of his corner pretty darn fast, employing the same sort of strategy, but now both of them are immediately reserved. Space misses another one of his punches. Comfy Len actually does miss a punch, but it doesn't really matter too much. Len, oh, just about. Len did miss a couple of those punches. Very, a little bit too aggressive early on. Cost him a little bit, but he almost brought it back, but he almost brought it back. Round number one to one both of them very reserved one of the both of them missing their first punches space missing his second punch comfy len trying to get the aggressive side into him that was a very interesting round bird both of them very reserved to start an immediate switch up of strategy i like this nice and quick nice and quick two to one space immediately charging out into the into the corner len proceeding len Answering in time with his own aggression. Both of them pretty close right now. Ooh, space Vegemite. I think Len knew there for a moment that he missed one of his punches and Space just capitalized on that. There was probably no way he was going to win that. Vegemite throwing his sandwich for good luck there. Absolutely. Round number five. Oh, Space Vegemite immediately out of the gate with that one punch. Len proceeding in time. Does flare one of his punches in mid-air. It doesn't matter. Space missed one of his punches too. Very, very close. Very, very tense. Both of them know they're on the last one. And Space makes the move first. It's for it's for three to two in favor of Space Vegemite. What close. Very interesting. So, round number six. So it's Vegemite out with the immediate aggression. Len trying to be a little bit more reserved. Len going in for some more aggression onto Space Vegemite. Both of them wants to make the move first. Ooh, that was close. Space thought <laughs> Len had it for a split second there with that punch. But Incredibly space, space close. <laughs> the ropes aren't quite as slippery this time. Next round, Len taking immediate ring presence. Space missing a punch. Space missing two punches there. This should be easy cleanup work for Len, and it is. It's four to three. Space, I think the, even the nerves are getting to him where he's missing these punches, whiffing these punches, maybe even hit right, I don't know, but this is four to three now. Still in Space's favor, but it's getting closer. Both of them ready as ever. Pretty cautious sandwich throw there. Space Vegemite landing the first few blows. Immediate aggression out of the way. Len making sure these punches land. Len charging forward to that aggression. It's tied four to four. Round number nine. Interesting dispute there, but nevertheless, we shall continue. Space immediately out of the aggression. Space very much whiffing that punch there. Not quite sure what's going on there, but Comfy Len just taking the fight to him. Ooh. Space Vegemite, a very nice bait in there. Very nice bait. Match point for Comfy Len. Space Vegemite taking ring presence pretty early on. Comfy Len missing the punch but returning it in time. Space missing that one punch. That could be an inner hurt. That is hurt. Oh. That is the end of this match. Comfy Len managing to be as tactical as every previous time. Just dodging and punching at just the right times. Pressing the advantage when he knows he has it. What an excellent Excellent performance here from Comfy Land and an incredible performance from Space Vegemite, keeping this match so close, almost as close as could be. Every round, a fantastic. Now here's something we hope you'll really like. <laughs> All right. So Sandwich again being so aggressive there, but I think Fluffy Teddy Bear is kind of matching him now. It's last punch! Oh my good, good goodness. Sandwich there was able to come back. It looked like Fluffy Teddy Bear had that uh, victory set in, but Sandwich is able to come back. It's a three to two match point.
Yeah, that's a big comeback of Standage. We didn't saw so this coming. Uh, we also Teddy Bear was going to win, but no, he came back um, with uh, his reads, as we can see. Much obliged. Oh, and now, yeah, now, now Fluffy, Fluffy Tabor going with a new look. Let's see if that... <laughs> <laughs> it will help him to win those rounds. <laughs> yeah, down the moon fart flam. It's not match. All right. The costume change is allowed due to no changes in the melee department. So, uh, again, both boxers, please say yes when you're ready. Great. Again, begin after the bell. All right, Fluffy Tabor's got to get a tie here. And Stanford's going really up against Fluffy Tabor, up against the ropes. And Fluffy Tabor was able, I don't know if the fluff, I don't know if those wings on the back made him, it was able to speed him around a uh, sandwich there. But luckily, he got around him pretty fast. And, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe we're going into the seventh round, which means a tiebreaker, a passy. Woo, what a match we're seeing here tonight. All right, someone's going to walk out of this ring as going into the finals of the clash. And it is so even, dead even. Fluffy misses, and Fluffy was able to get him back that win. And he moves on to the finals of the clash four to three, uh, including Chicken. He goes up against you. It is tiebreaker. It goes up to the seventh round. I mean, give me your thoughts, Fluffy. You must be exhausted after that match. And I believe Fluffy will be typing in chat, so I will. All right. Well, that shows you how exhausted he is. I had a couple of, I kind of, I kind of had a couple extra questions, but um, you know, you know. So uh, let's see who Rage Rule will be fighting up against, and if it's someone he doesn't like, by the way, Fedor, he will call this rigged. Oh yeah, and better it's not be the... chicken. <laughs> Last person on the left side. Ooh. You're gonna uh -oh. like this one, ba you're gonna like this one, Sins. Rage will kick his ass. Anyways, <laughs> Rage will versus Rage will versus back. <laughs> so, by the way, for people watching the stream who doesn't attend the fight night, which you should every every Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, me and Baxter were kind of going through this little thing called a rivalry, right? And I hate him, he hates me. It's it's a, it's pretty mutual mutual relationship. He will be going up against Rage will. It's interesting because I'm pretty sure Baxter and Rage will have a little little friendship going on that I don't know why, but it's there. <laughs> well, anyways, this is uh, the rest of us tonight um, on the behalf of Dandelions, Brand Flakes, and of course Fedora and his cookie monster uh, pajamas and his wicked hands. Uh, my name is Sins. Don't be engulfed by Fedora's hand in the void, and we'll see you next time here on NHBL Twitch. Spill away the cocoa beans. I need the cocoa beans right now. Give me the cocoa beans. I really need them. Give me the cocoa beans. I need the cocoa beans. Cocoa beans. Cocoa beans. Cocoa beans. Cocoa beans. Next matchup is Dos Caras and Egyptian Bagel. The Pudis Pal movement making his first major appearance for season nine. He did not. He was on the bracket for the backyard brawl in the clash. Ended up not attending though. And the Pudis Pal movement <laughs> and Spoko is the referee with the T posing Bagel. <laughs> oh, Goodness I feel, me, I feel bagel. sorry for Bagel. I feel sorry. I feel sorry not for Spoko. I also feel sorry for Bagel because if he tries any disrespect, he's, it's not going to happen. And this is the same man who crouched excessively during the fisticuffs and why the rule was changed. So now I, I'm wondering if we need to start making any rules, for, if there need to be any rules for T-posing. I don't know. Good point. Um, it's, it's kind of baffling. I don't know how he's going to box like that, especially considering Dos Caras can't necessarily respond to um, his stancing. Oh, oh Toscaris with the top kill in the warm up I don't round. I think that counts as a warm up round, but whoo! That, oh, Spogo counts as a warm up round. <laughs> Referee, final word on that. That's the round. The, the Spoko man has spoken. Oh, my goodness. It was a very close match, nonetheless, when you say Clay. Yeah, Spogo's moving on. Um, he believes uh, Spogo's moving on. So. He will fight the. It's going to be interesting because he's going to fight the winner of. Uh, let me look at this one here real quick. He's going to fight the the winner of um. Uh, Oni and and Oni, who who are European guys next. <laughs> oh whoa. Well, well, well. That was uh, that was an interesting uh, sound there. Moving on to the moving on to our final match tonight. 
it's commentator, ex commentator and staff member, and now Fight Night competitor, Clay Felfer's chair. Oh dear, <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> that's has that ever happened on broadcast? Is nope. that is, that's the first. <laughs> Okay. I'm, I'm an asshole for laughing, but that's really funny. Okay, <laughs> so he's going to fight the winner of uh, Oakle and Oni. After a stellar win like that, how are you going to how are you going to prepare to fight uh, Spotted next, who's literally standing right behind you? Well, Spotted's a very good fighter. Um, obviously, you've seen quite a lot of his matches. Best US you boxer. Know the way. Um, and <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm absolutely shaking right now. I'm caffeinated off my nuts, and uh, it's going to be fantastic to fight anyone. I'm glad I've got this far anyway. Um, yeah. It's been really, really uh, good to be part of the NHBL for the first uh, for my first season. Going to miss by Baxter. Metro trying to get a punch and get several in. Baxter getting it back on the ropes. Metro with only one punch wow. to give forces it to a third round. Man, I was super close for Bax. He was almost clinched his his way to the semifinals. And a Metro there being resilient as he has always been in his career. And uh, he's not going out uh, uh, too quick. But look at here now. Oh, we have no. A, we the have a special. Disrespect card. Oh, no. Oh, no. It is Bax. No, that's not Bax. That's Bacqua. That's Bacqua from French. He is, a, he is a second cousin to Bax. We saw us in the NHBL fight night. Bacqua is back here in HBO. Mm -hmm.